All right, John Garfield. We're um, we're talking about beyond prophetic. We're in an age change that is exciting and troubling. (laughs) It's a spiritual age change. So sons are moving from saying and seeing revelation to actually doing it. Pretty exciting. So the old is uh, intellectually understanding our direction, being able to prophesy it, explain it, preach it, preach it, love it. The new is being moved by it to manifest it and do it. That's a difference. <laughs> and the, the difference is sons do it. And um, that's, that's the big point I want to make today. So it's no longer enough to see and prophesy what the enemy has planned and what the Father will do about it or do instead of it. It's true, but sons are not bystanders eating popcorn and watching the show. <laughs> as a nation, we're, we are at war right now, literally and spiritually. As sons, we have a pivotal, pivotal role in the battle. So warfare happens on three dimensions. One is uh, what the Father does miraculously um, to bring glory to his name. Jehovah, I think it's Nisi, is the Lord our banner. So you see him intervene when Moses crossed the Red Sea, etc. And um, the second level is what sons do practically, or mighty men, or deliverers like David and Washington, Trump, DeSantis, Musk. Those people are, are being used by God in great ways, have been used also. The third level is what the army of heaven does at the bidding of sons, the heavenly host, angels, etc. Uh, so that realm is, uh, is also at our disposal. So. We are concerned about the daily delay in uh, divine intervention and the pace of reawakening of the world's population. It it seems like it's taken forever. (laughs) So these dimensions of warfare, the three dimensions are interconnected. So suns play a role in bringing heaven to earth. We are responsible for co-laboring with the Father and manifesting his kingdom on earth. We are invited to be part of the courts and council of heaven. and we're part of David's mighty men on earth. The bottleneck in this war is number two, us. <laughs> so we sons have to take our seat in heaven's council and our battle stations on earth. And we go beyond being prophetic play-by-play analysts with microphones. We actually get in the game, get in our mountain, join our team, and finish our book or our calling. <clears throat> so what should I do? I'm saying, got to do stuff. What is it? So first, let me tell you a story. I spent my 20s and 30s in a prophetic and worshiping church. It was a great background. We learned to hear God's voice and to be able to say it prophetically or sing it uh, prophetically in worship. And uh, it was soaring, exhilarating, and unforgettable. And um, the, it was years of experience that built a prophetic foundation of hearing the Father's voice loving him back, loving the experience, and seeing his word bless his people. Um, but we're beyond prophetic in, at some level now. So in this age, the cloud is moving. Sons are being invited into their mountain and to do what the Father is doing. We're not leaving the prophetic behind. We're just putting boots on the ground and doing <clears throat> what came out of the prophetic. So what does that look like? Well, number one, we're awake. <laughs> <laughs> we can prophetically see the cabal in the World Economic Forum and the tyranny in vaccine mandates, social credit systems, carbon credit systems, the fake news puppeteering a shared script, the fraudulent environmental movement, and the counterfeit three-letter agencies in the government, our own government I'm talking about, manipulating social media behind the screens to uh, corrupt the narrative, corrupt the truth. Um, So we're not afraid to resist. Uh, We know we are at war. We know it's a world war. Um, The second level is we're present in heaven. Sons are in the courts of heaven breaking accusations, binding strongholds, and loosing captives uh, on on a legal and a spiritual basis that actually works. It's like new technology, only it's 2,000 years old. (laughs) (laughs) So we're also party to the strategies and conversations in Father's Council. We have access to the seven spirits and we have clarity on our role, our book, and we're mighty men and women in our mountain. That's our battle station. So we bring reformation is the third one. We're fully aware of the warfare and the enemy devices, yet our eyes are on our Father 
and we're doing what he is doing to bring heaven to earth. We're, we're involved in, in politics, business, media, and the arts. We're replacing the medical script with treatments that bring life, <clears throat> and we're owning the responsibility to bring truth and justice to earth in every sphere. We don't just decry the deceit, we don't just complain about it either. <laughs> we proclaim the truth and live out its, its example. Uh, and the last one is that we bring life. There's an unmistakable fragrance from sons. They're having fun. Okay, it's totally different. <laughs> they are moving with the music and the score of heaven and they are dancing. They feel the privilege of co-laboring with Father. Uh, they're entrusted with his purpose and they experience the thrill of victory. We don't assume we win every battle. We don't have to theologically. We may sacrifice our means, our liberty, even our lives, um, yet we have already seen the last shot fired and the battle won. We can see the resurrection of nations in Reformation. We can see, feel what's coming. We see Emmanuel as God with us. Uh, the realm of death is swallowed up in an even greater sense of the Son's finished victory, what Jesus did at the cross. So Isaiah 25, 7 is quoted in 1 Corinthians 15. Let me read the first one. On this mountain he will destroy the shroud that enfolds all peoples. Does that sound familiar? The sheet that covers all nations. He will swallow up death forever. The sovereign Lord will wipe away the tears from all faces. He will remove the disgrace of his people from all the earth. The Lord has spoken. <laughs> He's serious about reformation. 1 Corinthians 15 verse 54. Then, then the saying that is written will come true. Death has sw been swallowed up in victory. In verse 55. Where, O death, is your victory? Where, O death, is your sting? So I want to suggest that uh, we're winning even when we're losing. <laughs> and, and there is a sense in which sons are being awakened and activated. <clears throat> so Father, in the name of Jesus right now, we just join our hearts together and we claim our land. We claim the United States for its book, for her book, Father. We just release um, the United States to be the light and the glory, the place of honesty and integrity, the place of anointing, the home of evangelism, Father, the, uh, the, the, the place where your sons um, see prosperity and export it around the world. So, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we're releasing your people to occupy their land and, uh, Father, to fully inherit everything you have for us. Father, not just the United States, we just speak to every nation in the world. That Father, we, it, <clears throat> as sons, we claim them. We lay nations at your feet as an offering of worship. And in the, Father, we just thank you for reformation. We thank you for including us, for inviting us to be part of it. And Father, I'm just releasing this vision in businesses, Father, in individuals, and in cities, and in nations around the world in the mighty name of Jesus. But Father, because we're Americans, we just released the United States to inherit her destiny. Father, to, to throw off the cabal, the wokeness, the deception, the interference. Uh, Father, every, every avenue of invasion that the enemy is trying. In the mighty name of Jesus, we're setting a hedge around our own nation and we're claiming <clears throat> our inheritance. Uh, Father, our book as a people. In the name of Jesus, amen. Go get them. All right. We have a pamphlet called uh, Seven Spirit Cue Cards. And what it is, is it's a simple uh, little guide through uh, courts of heaven, uh, God's counsel. And uh, each page has one of the seven spirits. And the, the QR codes are links to videos that uh, give you a walkthrough of how practically to get involved in the courts and council of heaven. So those are available at onlineheartplan.com and I want to suggest you take advantage of them because it's a great tool, a great help. Uh, a little bit late for Christmas, but uh, <laughs> uh, almost, almost on time. So uh, I want to encourage you to uh, take advantage of that tool. I, I just found it's really helpful. and. Um, the, I think uh, beyond the pamphlet, your role and, 
and your experience in the courts and counsel is uh, a huge aspect of inheriting your sonship. I want to suggest that that is not optional, that uh, we're, uh, we're making this shameless plug with an anointing. <laughs> so uh, I think you'll enjoy them. It's called the Seven Spirit Cue Cards, onlineheartplan.com. Have fun with it.